Hello and welcome to the channel. If you haven't done so already, make sure to like and subscribe. I appreciate that so much. So it looks like Nissan is recalling all of the automatic transmission due to roll away. So make sure, make sure you activate your e-brake, even if it's automatic. You know, usually you can just put it in park and you're good, but not now. Make sure you activate your e-brake and also make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. So let's go ahead and cover this story. Alrighty. So title of the article, Nissan issues stop sale on automatic transmission 2023 Z due to roll away risk. Nissan has issued a stop sale on my 2023 Z models with automatic transmission due to roll away risk when the vehicle is in park. As of August 29, all examples shipping from Nissan's to 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 Shihagi, to Shihagi, to Shigi, I don't know. <laughs> Plan in Japan are being held at this, all stages of delivery reports on a blog. Jonathan, a spokesperson for the company, told the outlet that Nissan is in the midst of investigating this issue. Nisha, Nissan initiated a quality hold on my 2023 Nissan Z automatic transmission equipped vehicles on August 29, 2022, while it investigates this issue. The investigation is ongoing at this time, said Bueller, Bella, Bella, I don't know, adding that this action constituted a stop sale for any automatic transmission model, whether it is on a showroom floor or in any other stages. This issue is familiar one of the Japanese automaker, which has had to conduct two similar recalls in 2020 and 2022 frontier and titan pickup trucks now the titan and the pickup trucks they have the same engine as the um as the nissan well the same the, i'm sorry they use the same transmission not the engine i'm sorry um they use the same transmission and that they put on the nissan and unfortunately they didn't fix the issue so now it can cause the vehicle to roll away you would have figured that they would have figured it out in 2020 and 2022 for the frontier and the titan and fix that issue so when they're utilizing that same transmission it wouldn't have the same issue it would be modified so it doesn't do that it doesn't you know roll away but you know cost you know every company just wants to cut cost and money save money even a nickel and diming as much as possible and now you have more problem in your hands and it's going to cost you a lot more money to fix this issue than it would have if you just had fixed it originally when you had um the issue occurred on the nissan titan as well as the frontier but no 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 you didn't want to do that now you're gonna have to suck it up and uh pay up according to the national highway oh hold on as a result of these actions nissan was forced to recall around 200,000 vehicles because of the variations in dimension of certain parts during the manufacturing process that could result in park not properly engaging according to national highway safety administration resistance between the parking rod wedge inside of the transmission housing may inhabit a movement of the wedge and parking power unfortunately for buyers of all three vehicles nissan is still in the process of developing a remedy so even now it's what we're almost close to the end of the year and they still have not have any remedy for 2020 to 2022 and we're heading into 2023 and still have the same issues Whew. That's why I say, if you have a chance to get a manual, get a manual. I'm always preaching that. Any sports car that comes out that seems fun, get a manual transmission. You wouldn't have any of this issue. Unfortunately for buyers, blah, 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 Nissan is also in the process of developing remedy for the problem. While it may affect other Nissan and Infiniti models, depending on you know which ones they put the that transmission in since they haven't fixed the issue. For now, the automaker recommends that drivers apply the park and brake every time they get out of their vehicles. Netsa document Nisa said that it would contact owners of the Frontier starting on November 1st, 2022 with a fix for the issue. What about those that bought the um, the Z? What about them? When do they get their turn to be recalled? So yeah, next time you're considering buying any car, sports car or just any kind of performance vehicle and it's available in a manual transmission take the manual transmission it's less complicated those eight speed ten speed those transmission are so complicated and depending on who makes them 
sure like a ticking time bomb. Those CV some CVT transmissions are good, decent because Toyota and Honda they kind of perfected their CVTs. Um, they doesn't have as many issues with it now, but before they had their share of issues with it. But I'm not sure what kind of transmission that these are these vehicles have, and it's also going to affect more products. You would like I said, you would figure the company would you know find an issue instead of putting the same transmission on the on this on a different car and selling that vehicle why not hold back a year until you have a solution hold back six months and find a solution instead of just selling that product to the customer knowing that it's faulty that is a fucked up way to do business that's a messed up way and the only people that are going to be you know having dealing with this are the people that actually believe in your product and purchase your product and that goes for any company same thing happened with toyota with the rollaway so i don't know <laughs> are the toyotas uh, tundras being built in the same factory as the nissans are they using the same transmissions i'm just kidding that one was a whole different issue but anyway let me know in the comments below what your thoughts of this do you have the new z card do you have the 2023 z and did you get the automatic or trans or a manual transmission that is the right one to get and i will see you guys in the next one have a good one